Community corrections officers are ready for pretty much anything. They wear bulletproof vests, they're armed, and they have handcuffs. But on this particular call, the life-saving gear they needed, gummy bears and apple juice. Yeah, some days I wonder what's going to happen today. Christy Bivens, okay. very busy. And John Petrowski, so we can do the work. Are community corrections officers in Washington. We're there for accountability, community safety, and part social worker. And on a recent day in Woodland, it would seem part medic. Bivens and Petrowski were checking on a supervisee when the man's wife came to the door. Something was off. She kept slurring words, kept repeating words. And so I moved a little closer. I didn't know if she'd been drinking. And she said she had to go pick up her husband. I said, yeah, I kind of don't want you driving. Um, when she turned around to go in the house, I noticed that she was wearing an insulin pump. For privacy reasons, we aren't identifying the woman. From what these guys could tell, her blood sugar was dangerously low, despite the reading on her insulin pump. Her symptoms and the number on her sugar aren't co coinciding. Turns out the pump wasn't hooked up right. She kind of went downhill pretty quickly. They called for a medic, but knew they had to do something right away. I asked Officer Petrowski to see if he could find some sugar. Found out that she had some candy in the, in the um, cupboard. It was gummy bears, I think it was what it was. We gave her gummy bears what she was eating and then she'd gnaw off again. Next, it was apple juice. That bought her some more time before help arrived. And then in the middle of all this, we have another person who's on supervision who comes out of a room that we didn't know was there. Provided false name, false information. Petrowski took him into custody and the woman got the help she Later, needed. She was very thankful. Just uh, another day at work. Kind of an eye opener to remind myself that when I am in these homes, keep my eyes open, see other things, other things are going on in people's lives sometimes that we may not know about. In Woodland. I'm glad that we were there that day. Catherine Cook, KGW News.